I think it's interesting for me as a Westerner looking at this relationship between Ling and her husband. We had one person who was trying to break away from her traditional rural countryside roots and a man who was also doing that but still held those values very dear to him. And because of that, there was a disconnect in this relationship. She was not going to be told by anyone what she was going to do. She wanted to be who she wanted to be. And so it was kind of like a very um, highly developed sense of self in Ling against a very highly developed sense of tradition in her husband. And the way they knocked heads was the thing that I thought might make an interesting film. And it did. I mean, it wasn't a terribly happy ending to that film. But it was a, um, it was a fascinating conflict between the old ways and the new ways. Oh, hi! Woo! <laughs> I could not have wished for a better way for that relationship to evolve as a filmmaker, because we had conflict, we had sorrow, we had an unhappy ending, but a really satisfying movie ending. I'm sad that it went that way. I like both of those people very much. And I was sad to see that they couldn't work out their differences. But, um, you know, there's a little piece of me, the filmmaker piece of me that says, what happened made a very interesting movie. And I think a lot of people can learn a lot about human relationships in China by watching that film.